Good morning, folks. Today we are going to check out Wavebox. I'm super excited. This is a new app that was introduced to me by my pal Charlie Valor, and I am excited to see what it can do. I've got it up on my screen here, and I want to show you all what it does and actually go through the installation process so you can see what happens if you want to check it out. What this is, is it's, to me, I would describe it as a, like a central command center for all of the online tools that you have. Um, as you can see here, they've got tons of integrations. Um, it basically pulls in everything that you would use from day to day and puts it on a dashboard central command right on your computer which would stop you from having to open various tabs for your Gmail, your Trello, your Facebook, your all of the things that you're in and out of all day long. It puts it into a desktop app which would make things faster, easier to access and they have some uh, centralized notifications that go on. So let's just scroll down uh, here a little bit. So it's free to use um, with, I guess, two Gmail inbox accounts. And if you upgrade to, to Pro, you get to add, I believe, unlimited apps and services. Let's see, what does the Pro cost? I figured it would be a monthly fee, but it's not. It's actually a flat fee. You get the free trial of the Pro account when you uh, first sign up. But check this out, Pro. It's only 20 bucks a year, for God's sakes. That, to me, is awesome pricing and pretty much a no-brainer. You can, as you can see, add unlimited accounts and websites and apps. You can actually edit your Google Docs and Office documents right through it. Super cool is it even still su supports um, Grammarly and Mixmax extensions, which is awesome. You guys can check this out on your own, uh, Wavebox. I've actually downloaded the software already, and it is available for uh, Mac, Windows, and Linux. So when, once I downloaded it and opened the file, this is what the screen looks like. You know, they want you just to dive right in with adding in your accounts. Um, they also have a setup wizard, so I actually have not done this at all. This is not a, hey, go back and show everybody what happened when you did it. I'm actually doing this live, so let's see how it goes. So let's try this setup wizard. So tray icon, okay. I can change how that looks. Let's see. You can make Wavebox your default mail client so it launches when you start to compose a new email. I'm not sure if I want it to do that. Uh, yet because I'm not familiar enough to know, um, you know, I'm used to my Gmail interface, so I'm just going to skip that and maybe come back and try that later. Uh, let's just hit finish here. All right, add your first account. This is likely going to be a Gmail account, but let's see what it pulls in. Wow, it's kind of like a uh, Zapier with the tons of accounts that you can link to and you can actually pull in a website so that's pretty spiffy so let's just do something easy and um, let's just pull in you know oh pick a color get started by picking a color for your account all right let's go with this is kind of close to the teal in my brand so let's go with that I love teal all right Enter the web address and the name of the website you want to add. Okay, let's put in mine. Let's plug in for my own website. Uh, open new windows in browser. Default browser, yes, restore, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, finish. All right, she's loading, so it lets us know we can go to a tour whenever we want. Yay. Okay, so check that out. I added it in, and what it did was put this app uh, which was a website right over here in the left hand panel and it shows me I don't have any notifications which I would imagine unless I had some type of maybe like intercom on here maybe I'd get a notification about that but I don't have any of that on my site so but if I if I needed to get to it uh, my site's on WordPress so I guess I could add the login to get into my site so I have easy access to making changes to it uh, click here to add your next account. Let's add Gmail. Got to have that. Okay, so I get to pick a color again. Let's pick a different color and see what the point of that is. 
pick e pick which other services you'd like to use alongside of my account. Got it. So it's pulling in anything related to Google because Google's login basically is whether you're using Gmail, Docs, Sheets, whatever it is, it's a login to all things Google. So uh, I use Calendar. I don't use Contacts. I use Keep. I don't need that. Go away. Now, Google Drive, let's see if that works well because they've got the new file stream now. Um, and turn Hangouts off. I'll keep Docs. Sheets, I'll turn that off. Uh, yeah, I'll pull an admin. Pull in YouTube. Let's go on here. I assume it's going to ask me to enter my Google login now. One second, and I'm going to pull up my last pass on my phone. This is only terrible when you're doing things like video. All right, it's thinking, yes, I want to use that with this. Yes, I'm going to allow you to infiltrate my whole life. Choose your inbox mode. Here's what this looks like. Yeah, this is using kind of the typical uh, categories inbox. I do not use that. Uh, that's just my style. I don't, I don't like the categories inbox. I like this one. So there you go. All right, so I'm going to hit finish. And look, here are all my emails for the whole entire world to see on YouTube. So if you look over here, imagine as it's just getting set up, it might spin a little bit until it gets used to uh, seeing what's going on. My Google Keep. Uh, let's just put my entire life out there on the Internet. Why not? Uh, my Google Drive, you get the idea. Let's get one more. What can I pull in? Wow, Gmail really does run my life. Um, let's see. Of course, I'm a huge Airtable fan. Let's see if they have Airtable. I bet they do. Oh, ooh, I'm impressed. Um, Airtable is taking over the world, so that's probably why they've already got it on here. So let's go yellow. Uh, this is interesting. So you can uh, have that tab go to sleep. This is probably why this is this is good. This is saving some uh, energy and resources um, by not flipping around in your browser. You're actually using the desktop. Oh goody, I have to log in again. Anywho, I'm not going to do that because I don't want you all to have to watch me um, struggle with my Airtable sign-in again. But here's the gist of it. So as you could see over here, um, so the color just basically puts a little highlight around it. Um, for me, that's not really necessary because I could see that it's Airtable. And with these, um, I guess for these maybe it'd be all right. But um, but this is cool. You could see I've got 11 notification or unread messages. So I guess if somebody posted a comment to one of my bases in Airtable, I'd have notifications. So this is like a super cool central command um, in the name of Webbox or <laughs> Webbox. See, it could have been called Webbox. So it's called Wavebox. And let me close this desktop part of it. And hey, I'm back in the bottom corner again. So it's wavebox.io, not .com, .io. So make sure you get that. Check it out. Um, you know, it leads you through really good. You're going to get a free trial anyways, which you're not going to be able to live without the free trial because you don't want to lose all your apps. And for 20 bucks, I think um, it's pretty awesome and a no-brainer. <clears throat> so let me know uh, what you think. I think this is super cool. And thank you, Charlie Valor. As promised, I did, did the review just for you. All right. Talk to you soon.